Well, the election for this year, well, I can't, you know, they're okay, but I'm not speaking English. Though they try to do your sound, they don't first lie, say, okay, everything go, they teach if, the, if I know they press number for screen, if they read for one bigger screen, or my own screen, or anybody's screen, we never start digitalize the nation. Also, when they say, we are going to upload, we are going to upload, we are going to, nah, lie. They still go back to the old way. So, there's no difference between this initial and the other one. It's just that the difference is that okay, it was digitalized or social media has been now. Okay, now more. I would say I use English. Okay, just because maybe because now, because now there's no social media, there's more awareness, there's more young people that came into the uh, uh, political atmosphere. At least now, the younger ones are awoken. They are awoke, they are awake, they don't wake. Everybody don't wake up, everybody eyes all open to the uh, 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 electoral process. So everybody want especially in uh, 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 civic rights. You understand that kind of thing? That is the issue. If not, the presidential and governorship election has come and gone. And I must say the younger generation, we had a whole lot of expectation, but everything fell short because I, I don't know if to say we were wrapped or rigged. And I actually don't know if we made the wrong choice or uh, they made the choice for us. But as it is right now, everything has happened. Uh, we have a president elect, and uh, I just feel like the older generation probably have something good in store for us. And uh, while we look forward to having a new government, a new leader, I just, I'm just praying for the country. Thank you. Um, this 2023 election was. It's kind of characterized with violence and uh, it kind of reminds me of the Nigerian election back, back those days. But one thing about this election, after the reform, election um, reform of 2023, we were hoping to have a good election because the INEC promised us a free and credible election. But judging from the outcome of the election, it is very, very horrible. This was the worst election we have ever met, seen in Nigeria so far. It was characterized with violence. The rigging was HD rigging, as in an advanced rigging of election. Because the youth came out to be like, oh, we are positive, we've seen good things coming out. Uh, they promised us heaven and earth. But we came out and it was the worst election ever. Starting from the presidential to the governor. I don't think Nigeria has, in history, has gotten this kind of election before. And this, my heart bleeds for this country. My heart bleeds for my Nigeria country as a whole. This country is... Did they carry out well? No, no, last, last. This country is kind of horrible. That's my take on that. This election threw up a lot of things. You know, and the uh, emotions are still flying here and there. Um, for me, I've been... There's anger, there is... Disappointment. A whole lot, you know, in my mind, really, and... You know, I've been trying to vent and all of that. But I think what, what came to fall, my father used to say something, my late father used to say something when he was alive. He used to say in Igbo that um, Nigeria has not decided to be a nation. Nigeria has not decided the vision it has for, you know, herself as a nation. Do you understand? In other words, because when you don't have a vision, you don't have a decision that you've made as to what you want to be. Then you can, I mean, you know, you will not be anything really. Uh, for me, I saw how people were really eager to move the country forward. I, especially the youth, you know, who one time, some time ago, the, the, the president called the youth lazy and all of that. But this time around, you see the youth, they're out. They really want a nation that will move, they want a nation that will run on ideology. Because sometimes what, what has been happening in Nigeria is that we just, the kind of politics we do is such that you, you, you need to wonder what, we, what are we really after, what we want for our country. There's no ideology whatsoever. People just, you know, have portfolios. They don't even know what to do with the office, you know, they, they are, you know they're sitting there, they don't know what to do. 
So what 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 the anger in 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 all over the place and it's have that anger. How come people are now out to choose people that will lead them, people that will move the country forward in a very ideological way? And we now see what came up. What came up is what the funny thing is that a lot of people didn't know that we have this, you know, things inside of us. I was in the bus this morning, you know, coming to work, and I saw people you know, bantering, there was this banter about the elections and all that. And I saw all the ethnic and tribal sentiments coming out. I, I'm, I'm saying, I was wondering, I mean, is that what we have? I thought we've gone beyond all of this. I mean, in fact, I, as a political science uh, expert, I discovered that years ago when I was in school, they taught us about Nigeria, what Nigeria is, and everything about politics and all that. The things they told us, I discovered I'm not seeing all of that in Nigeria. Here leaders just want to be in position. Political leaders want, want to be in position just to for their to, to amass wealth. And for personal, you know, just to have that nomenclature of president or governor or whatever. That's much, much of what I see. You do not really see people who really want to make a difference in a society. Because again, if you want to make a difference, I do not see how you go about this in a in a in a very um in a, in, in a very in a very uh, in human way, you know, for instance, that human beings should be allowed to choose for him. I do not see a lot of that happen. One of the things that pained me is that I saw people, elderly people, young people who were eager to come come out and vote, come out and vote, but intimidation here and there, and you wonder what's going on. I just I just got off, you know, Instagram right now before this, you know, uh, this talk. I saw a friend who I didn't know this happened to him. He he was brutalized on election day. A, a very, I mean, a responsible human being who went out to do his civic responsibility. I saw that he was battered. In fact, I read, I, I'm going to make a comment because I'm still like, for real, this happened to him. I'm going to call him later and, and ask him how. Because I'm so, so why would we come out and you are trying to bash them, you are trying to be, physically beat them? Waji was on air the other day. Waji, the singer, was saying that she went somewhere at her pulling boot. And she saw where someone was being beaten, as though he was a criminal. In fact, he saw he, he, she was saying that look, the people that have been that way are robbers, and you know that she was like somebody came out to vote, and he has become, you know, a criminal just for coming out to vote. So, so there's a whole lot to talk about, a whole lot. But what I see is that Nigeria, mm, we need to do better. And I think all of what has come out of this is that we need to really talk. No, we don't. We don't yet have a nation that has a direction as to where it wants to, it, it wants to go. We don't have a nation that wants to be. That's why all the thing about giant of Africa is just, it's a more force. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, we don't really, that giant of Africa kind of uh, image that we're talking about, you know, we, we're not deep in it. We don't know, it's just a name, a nomenclature that has been, but we, we, are, we, are, we don't want, we, we have not done anything to be superstructure or substructure under that big name that we gave ourselves, or whoever gave it to us and all that. So there's a whole lot, but I, I'm just, I'm just, if you notice, if we all notice, there's, there's an uneasy calm out there. You know, elections won here and there, people won, but I've not seen where elections are won and people are not really jubilating. You know, there's this, you discover that people are, there's this muteness, you know, people are just keeping quiet and they have a lot to say because they, they, they faced a lot during the elections and to show you that there, some things are wrong and these things are, are very deep-seated things that needs to be discussed and that's why even as all these leaders whoever wins there all those who have won here and there in one capacity or the other when they get into power <laughs> they have a lot to deal with they have a lot to deal with to convince nigerians that we are all nigerians and we, you know because i don't think with what has been thrown up here and there a lot of people now begin to say that okay we're, we're not all nigerians really I was telling somebody the other day that Hitler, years ago in Germany, came up and said, look, um, you know, that, that they, the Germans, are better than the Jews and all of that and other nations. And at the end of the day, Hitler went about, you know, um, killing about six million Jews. It's, it's a history. So I was saying that what is going on now in the nation, I'm seeing semblance of that if we don't check it. How people who have been coexisting, and because to me, we should just move this country forward. And what I'm saying is that a lot of people are not ready to move this country forward. Honestly, there are some deep-seated things that came up. 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's a whole lot. So I do not know how I used to think that all those things about Hitler and um, Mussolini and all those leaders of yesteryears that did all those cool things are bygone. I mean, I thought we have developed our minds have developed beyond those those lines. But hey, we all and I, a lot of people are shocked. In fact, they can't even speak for now. You know, they are still shocked as to they don't know how to describe what they saw during the election. You know, whether during, especially during the voting days or for the presidential and all that, they are, they are like, what really happened? Do you understand? Where people went to vote and they came back maimed. Some people lost their lives. These are they are facts. What has made life uh, things easier these days is that we do not only depend on traditional media anymore. So we have social media, so people can really see these things real time. And so you cannot run away from it. You cannot say, uh, because traditional media will try to, you know, what is good for TV, what is in bad taste or not show. But what has brought this into the fore is because we now have, we are, most of us are journalists right now. So you can, you can capture this thing with your phone and, 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 and post and, and spread it. So we really know the real issues we are, we are having and that we are facing and that has to be discussed. Nigeria has to talk. We need to talk. We need to talk. Honestly, yeah. for now, I would just say that and I don't know. So much to say, but... Yeah, we need to talk.